Robert Wadlow, the tallest man in the world, was born in Alton, Illinois, on February 22, 1918. From a seemingly normal baby boy, he grew up to be the world's tallest man, often nicknamed Alton Giant or the Giant of Illinois. At just one year old, Robert was already 3 feet 5 inches, 1.05 meters, tall and weighed 45 pounds. By the age of five, he had outgrown clothes intended for a 17-year-old, standing at an impressive height of 5 feet 4 inches, 1.63 meters. But Robert's growth didn't stop there. At the age of eight, he towered over his own father, reaching a height of 6 feet 2 inches, 1.87 meters, and weighing 200 pounds, 90 kilograms. By the time he graduated from Alton High School in 1936, he stood at a staggering 8 feet 4 inches, 2.54 meters. And he still wasn't done growing. Doctors eventually diagnosed Robert with hyperplasia of the pituitary gland, a condition that caused rapid and excessive growth due to abnormally high levels of human growth hormones in his body. Even at the time of his death at the age of 22, there was no indication that his growth had ended. Despite his enormous height, Robert's parents and family tried to make his life as normal as possible. He was known as a quiet and mild-mannered young man, earning him the nickname Gentle Giant. Robert had many interests and hobbies. He enjoyed photography and playing the guitar until his hands grew too large to do either. Schools even made special desks for him, adding wooden blocks to the bottom so he wouldn't have to hunch over in class. In 1936, Robert became a celebrity after touring the United States with the Ringling Brothers Circus. He appeared at prestigious venues like Madison Square Garden and the Boston Garden, always dressed in his everyday clothes and refusing to wear a top hat and tails as requested by the circus. To accommodate Robert's height during travel, his father modified the family car by removing the front passenger seat so that Robert could stretch out his legs in the back seat. In 1938, Robert began a promotional tour with the International Shoe Company, which provided him with shoes free of charge. He saw himself as working in advertising, not as a freak show exhibit. Despite his immense size, Robert possessed great physical strength until the last few days of his life. Just one year before his death, Robert surpassed John Rogan as the tallest person ever recorded. On June 27, 1940, he was measured at a staggering 8 feet 11.1 inches, 2.72 meters. Tragically, on July 4, 1940, during a professional appearance at the Manistee National Forest Festival, a faulty brace irritated Robert's ankle, leading to an infection. Despite receiving treatment, his condition worsened due to an autoimmune disorder, and he passed away in his sleep on July 15. Robert Wadlow's legacy lives on. A life-size statue of him was erected opposite the Alton Museum of History and Art, and singer-songwriter Sufjan Stevens even wrote a song about him. At the museum, visitors can see photographs of Robert, as well as some of his personal belongings. Robert Wadlow, the tallest man in history, left an indelible mark on the world. Through stunning photographs, we can catch a glimpse of his extraordinary life and the challenges he faced. Join us as we delve into the fascinating story of Robert Wadlow, the gentle giant who stood tall in history.